of Rooster Teeth, SGC. That's how you write this song, Yes, right? SGC. 2016. Yeah. So far, the convention's been great. We got here on Friday. I've been really enjoying it so far. Even with the amount of people here, it's been very seamless. Everything is spread out. Not everybody's here at the convention, at the Austin Convention Center. Um, they had it spread out in the hotel, so we're not rubbing elbows with everybody. But so far, so good. Everything has been pretty neat here. Everything has been just awesome. Uh, Death Battle Live was just everything. Mm -hmm. If you need to go to SGC, you have to see Death Battle Live. Definitely. That is the, the panel that will shut the whole thing down. Mm -hmm. You got to see Black Nerd uh, yes. comedy, and that was just amazing. And people, if you go see a famous panelist, please do not go to the panel and to plug your, to own plug your shit. YouTube channel Stop or website. Stop plugging your shit. Um, we, it's like we know you want views and we know that you want that exposure, but be respectful. They're, they're <clears throat> taking time out of their day to come see you. Yes. Please don't do that. Like This was their panel, not yeah. your panel. To plug. Does that need to be like a panel etiquette? Thing that we have to do. I feel like there we should have a post about that. There should have been. There was so much hijacking. We'll show y'all that oh video, of course. But there was so much hijacking of of Andre stuff. It it was not cool. poor Andre, and he took it like a pro. He, he did. He, he did it in stride. Seems but. like he needed like a redo of that panel just without yeah. all the people who are practically there with their own show. But of course, yeah, that was a great way to start off the um, the weekend. Basically, I um we also did like a game show. Of awesome. <laughs> Tiffany won an arcade. I won an arcade. <laughs> I still can't believe that. Me sweating on stage like bullets because I had no idea. <laughs> I had an idea about where they came from, but not exactly about where the songs exactly came from for the franchises. But if it was Street Fighter, I could have done that all day long. Oh yeah. Blindfolded yeah. with earplugs and Lord knows what else. And we're about to see all of it in just a little bit. So mm -hmm. um, just, just stick around, check things out, and I hope you like everything. So enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Fantastic. We're doing the waiting in line for tickets. Or for batch pickup, really. So far, not so bad. So, let's go explore. Alright, let's do this.
firsthand and personal perspective. All right, on a personal note, Miss Mia. Ah. <laughs> So, compared to SGC being up in Dallas mm -hmm. last year, you prefer it still back home or down here with Rooster Teeth? Um, I don't know. I think they both have their positives and negatives. It was, I, I felt like for me, as someone who really loved SGC and ScrewTech, I prefer Dallas just because it was a smaller venue, it was much more personable. Um, it was their home base, really. It was really. Their, their home base, and so it, it felt like you were just chilling out at home for the day just with a bunch of friends and everything and we had a great time we, we saw uh, we actually literally ran into Andre the Black Nerd so that several was, times Austin is really awesome combining with Rooster Teeth we're not as familiar with Rooster Teeth unfortunately and so I think part of the experience is a little bit different just because that lack of familiarity whereas with Screw Attack we know them. We know yes. what their their content's about. Just wish that the Screw Attack uh, part, because uh, they're located in the Marriott, wish they had more specific content for us, especially in terms of vendors. Like I was really surprised of all the vendors we have here. There's only one that's actually selling video games, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of nerd swag and and shirts and whatnot. And a lot of the normal stuff, but I was really shocked that we didn't really see a lot of video game vendors um, and that ScrewTech didn't have like their own um, yes. room for vendors because we're, we're taking, um, we've taken over the fourth floor of the Marriott and they have other ballroom floors so it just seemed weird that they didn't have like the vendor room for ScrewTech fans like on the third floor where yes. they could go in and shop and stuff like that so it has its positives and negatives and I, I I guess it's good because you kind of get to bleed into the other and it right. makes screw attack people more exposed to rooster teeth and vice versa. Vice versa. But I really liked being in Dallas, I think, but I understand why they decided to combine it because a lot of fans are, are, you know, they're fans of both. So right. That makes sense. Especially with rooster teeth, this practically you have been for internet based games and everything else, but of course they're branching out. And of course, screw attack has always been gaming console games and everything else that they can get their hands on. It's still weird because it's still the separation of church and state, you know, there is still Screw Attack over there at the Marriott and all the main stuff for Rooster Teeth is here at the mm -hmm. convention center. The Screw Attack stuff is here being sold, like the t-shirts, like Mia had the Death Battle t-shirt yeah. on this one little table in there and um, their books and their other hats and everything else, but everything is here instead of at the Marriott with them. But there is a couple of vendors still at the Marriott selling either art prints or there's just one guy who's up there selling his games and we bought a few games off of them but I'm like if they're still gonna have that separation of of church and state practically why not just go ahead and just have it all at different locations where each one is yeah I think um, just easier because a lot of people I know who are screw attack fans have practically stayed over there but only came over here on vacation and a lot of people rooster teeth have no idea who screw attack is I heard people say that yeah so the screw attack is the reason why we came here but either way, it's a great experience. Well, I guess we'll just see what happens next year. Because we're going to be back in Austin next year, I think. They're they're still doing the combined thing. So okay. at least now we kind of have an idea of what to expect. So maybe that will help alleviate things. And this is good because now I have some exposure to some rooster teeth. I'm familiar with red versus blue. Yes. But um, this is, this is going to be good because then I can start looking at their content. And maybe... Because there's a lot. There's so there's much. So much. Wow. Um, so this will be interesting, I think, for the both of us, because now, now that we know, okay, We've Rooster Teeth exposed. exists, we can check out some of their stuff, and their content looks really funny. So. Yes, it does. And especially, like, all the t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm like, I want to buy it because it looks cool, but I'm like, I don't know what it means. Right. And so it'll be great to go ahead and have that perspective. I there has been, like, a Rooster Teeth convention for six years right why are they here so that will be something more homework we have to do yeah and it's interesting because rooster teeth is based in austin whereas sdc is based in dallas so and we still have to represent all the people who are based in texas based yeah companies so we're all for it because you don't get that much everyone else is usually in california yeah. even black nerds that he used to live here in texas so. yeah i think he used to live in austin actually so, yeah so. But uh, only downside, we didn't get to see Angry Joe. He pulled out at the last minute. I don't know what happened, but 
hopefully we'll see him at another convention. It was Brental Floss here. It was Pro Jared. Yeah. Um, I forgot the other guy. Gerard the Completionist. Yes. Yeah. Um, but most of the ones we were kind of in and out and everything, just playing mostly at console room, getting our nostalgia on. So I was happy. Yeah. Like that. That's our personal perspective of just things that we've seen, what we experienced, what we wish to, I guess, remedy in the future, especially when it comes to Rooster Teeth content. We want to catch up on that yeah. and stuff like that. So, um, if y'all know more later on. Bye, bird. Bye. <laughs>